Right. Today we are going to look at a fix for Silent Hill 2 Remake, which does not require you to turn on ray tracing or to run the game on Linux. Gamers using a Z1 Extreme device have been completely void of proper global illumination and shadows in the game on Windows. A way to get around this issue is either turning on ray tracing, which causes a huge dip in frame rate, or playing the game on a Linux distro like Bazite. In this video, I'll share a fix with you that might have a few disadvantages, but might be the best workaround until Bluebird Teams fixes Silent Hill 2 on Windows for Z1 Extreme device users. In Windows, open a browser and navigate to following URL. The link is in the description. Download the latest release 2.4.1-1. Next, open the archive and navigate to the x64 folder. From there, we are going to copy two files. Then paste the two files into the Win64 folder. You will have to navigate to your Silent Hill 2 folder, then open SH Photo, Binaries, and then Win64. Paste the files into the same folder in which the SH Photo executable file is located. Up next, we are going to open the game properties under Steam and then add hyphen DX11 under Launch Options. And that's all we need to do. I'm running the game at 1440 by 900p. Super sampling disabled and quality set to 66%. Textures are set to high. The game is now running under DX11. Unfortunately, with this fix, we are losing the ability to use FSR3 and XESS for upscaling. Nonetheless, I get 30 to 50 FPS without using AFMF2 or the FSR3 frame generator, which by the way, won't work either with this fix. You will still be able to use a FMF2 though. So like I said, there will be some downsides to this, but at least you'll have one more fix to choose from while we are waiting for a patch from Bloober Team. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new here, I'd really appreciate if you'd show my tiny channel some love and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Casual Gamer out.